Hi everyone, I am you Phoenix, how are you getting on? Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're going to continue the quests today and see where they lead us. I need to pick up the nails for uh, Theresa here. <laughs> what? What did I do? I was just standing here. Jeez, people these days. Acting like I've done everything. <laughs> All right, where are the nails? Are they inside? Let's see, where are they? Uh, huh? Where's these nails? In here? Yeah, there they go. Bandages. What? Okay. Apparently not. Who are you? Hello? What were you doing in here? Who are you? Come back. Were you breaking into our house? And did you run away because you saw me? Tackle. <laughs> Who are you? Dude, stop. What is it? Yeah, why are you running? Oh, it's him. It's that dude. The dude we beat up earlier. Why was he here? That's weird. <laughs> Alright, I have your nails here. Don't remember what you need them for, but <laughs> here they are anyway. Here are those nails you wanted. Yep. Thanks. So how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. Sword is truly beautiful. Thanks. Still don't get what she is. See, it must be like a friend or something, huh? Fine lass, eh? <laughs> now stop staring at her and come and see this. <laughs> it's time for the trial by fire. Alright. I don't know what she is if she's related to me or not. I hope not. Good. It's sharp at least. <laughs> we did a fine job. Yeah, we did. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Oh. Hello. Well, those days are gone, sir. <laughs> you haven't lost your skills, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he Would seems like to like it. it. Sir, what goes really? a sword to a commoner? Try it. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Great. You still have a lot to learn. Yeah, you could say Ask that. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. <laughs> Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. <laughs> Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have Good words. Fit. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. <laughs> Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. <laughs> One sword? How really? Odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're mm -hmm. right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty <laughs> calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. All right. I'm sure our paths will cross again. <laughs> So that's the famous sir, huh? <laughs> Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. First name basis, huh? That means something. It's been an honor, says Van. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. All right. A long, peculiar history. 
That was a long time ago. <laughs> I, might, I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Okay. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? <laughs> Why? Because he said so. Useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. <laughs> a man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my oh, days. that's nice at least. Here. But don't be so negative, dude. By your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Important message, it seems. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? What? Is that an army? It is. Oh god. <laughs> How many flags can you carry? <laughs> Don't even know it's at which to look. It's a big army as well. That's not good. Why would you just attack like that? Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? You can't fight them all off. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. Are you sure about that? Oh god. Why would they just kill normal people, you know? I mean, I'm sure they have their reasons, but to me it really doesn't make sense. At all. Well, at least our house is up the hill. Move! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Hurry up! Come on! Come on! Time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the gates! Get running, people! Come on! Mind this for me! Dad! You can't go back! Get through the gates! Of course he is. Guess I have no choice but to help them. At least he knows how to handle a sword, that's for sure. Jesus. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Fuck, I knew it. Fuck that. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Didn't expect anything like that to happen. Better run. Jesus Christ, man. They're brutal. Find a horse. Ride to town, Bird. 
back. Tell them what's coming. Warn them. Run by the moat. There's a path down there. Jump down from the wall and flee. Okay. Here I go. Jesus Christ. Now I, need, now I need to hurry to the next town, huh? Like, real quick. Jesus, I really didn't expect that to happen. Just like that, my parents are dead. Well, now I have a sword, at least. Jesus, run! Oh, God! Go! <laughs> right to Telmberg, get a horse. Yeah. Alright, I'm sure I can find a horse here somewhere. Can't run anymore, my stamina is running out. Jeez. <sighs> Holy fuck. Well, there's nothing we can do now. Alright, there's people here. Horse riding. WASD, trot is the horse basic pace. Uh, walk gives your horse a chance to recover. Okay, with the left caps lock, I guess. Um, w plus left shift. Center, canter ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Uh, left shift plus left shift. That makes no sense. Oh, uh, like probably just double click that. Double tap it. Following a path. Left shift. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give him his head. Just begin centering and don't steer him. Okay. That makes sense. Your horse stamina indicator. It will deplete when galloping. If you try to push your horse when its stamina is low, it may throw you. Okay, good to know. Galloping can be exhausting and can deplete your stamina too, especially if you're not an experienced horseman. Okay. Oh god, there's someone there. You can call your horse at any time by whistling with X. Should I help her? Do I even have that sword? Wait a minute, weapons. Where is it? I do have it. Should I try to help her? <laughs> She's in the wall, though. Oh, Teresa, it's her. Oh god, I'm gonna die like this. Ah, help! No, I'm gonna die. Jeez, no, run. Oh god, I'm dead. Jesus Christ. What was I supposed to do? Oh god, I hope it's saved somewhere. Otherwise, I'll fall. That's tough to do again. Okay, well, that's a little back. It's fine. Huh. I want to help her, but how? There's not much I can do. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to grab my sword. That's one. How do I draw a sword? Is there a button for it? No, oh, whatever. Sorry, Teresa, I can't help you. I have nothing to help you with. And besides, even if I have my sword, I, there's no way I'm gonna do all of that. I don't know what to do. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Maybe I can, like, distract them. Go! Oh, help Teresa get away from the rapists. It's fucking hell, man. Run! <laughs> oh, they're running after me. Just go. <laughs> Maybe if I lead them away, they, uh... Actually, leave her alone. We'll see. Faster, horse. You can do it. Follow the path. I know you can. <laughs> oh, here we are already. Jesus Christ. 
Why would you just kill everyone? It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh. Well, that's the language I don't know. Oh, gosh. He hit me. On my leg. <laughs> then I took an arrow to the knee, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Different game, different developer. <laughs> Oh, let's go. The wound must be bandaged, which Henry hasn't learned to do. You have to quickly get to someone who can help you. Yeah, how? Oh god, I'm still being hit. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> I'm stuck! Help! Just go! Go through the water. Okay, get out. Get up! Stupid horse! Let's go! <laughs> okay. I'm wounded to something. Can't see what that is. Just go, horsey. Shit, this is the wrong way. Yeah. What do I do then, huh? I fell off the bridge. And I can't actually get out. Oh, now I can? Here we go. Alright. Hurry up. Oh god, more people! They're shooting me! You discovered fish trap? Don't know how I discovered that, but okay. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up! You discovered shrine! Okay. More discoveries, that's always good. Where am I going though? Who are you? <laughs> Keep running, dude. How far is this town? Well, at least we get to see something of the world now. Something of it. Actually, let me see on the map how far this is. Uh, oh, I can see more of the map now. Uh, Skelets, that's where we're from. Rough Nights, where we came through. Little village or whatever. We're going over here. But it's still a small portion of this map, I mean, really. <laughs> and it looks nice. It looks diverse, you know? Like there's a lot of to explore. Um, right. <laughs> People know it here as well. Yeah, I'm going there. Yes. Who's they, though? I wonder where they're from. Alright. Should be nearing it soon enough. I think. Yeah, I see something up ahead. Seems like a castle. Yes, here we go. We're here. <laughs> it's a weird language. I can't really tell if it's uh, like Eastern Europe or Scandinavian or something. I can't tell. Anyone? Don't fire at me though, please. Ah, there you go, good. What? <laughs> what did she just call me? <laughs> Alright, quickly. We need to prepare. Do they know already that something's coming? Someone give him a drink. <laughs> a drink. Hot wine and bandages. <laughs> a fucking drink. Like really. That's what we need. <laughs> Tell 
Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Yep. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Exactly. Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Yeah. I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. God, that must hurt a lot. Jeez. That must be really painful. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. Whew. You only need lucky, a yeah. and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? Thanks for the help, though. There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, <laughs> back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sure. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? Were there any more survivors? I did, but I have so, no idea what it is. I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. That's for sure. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The yep. soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismunds. It said they came to hunger Sigismund, the east, as and always. The core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. Most likely. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? No. I'm sorry. Fortunately not. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you. What now? For risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We yeah. Have to prepare for the worst. That will be the best for sure. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. But. If they can't hold, we can't hold here either. So we need like a big army of the king or something. Otherwise this won't last long. But I'm sure we'll manage somehow. Sucks though that he's seen his whole family die in front of his eyes. Well I don't know about his friends or uh, our girlfriend don't know what happened to them but since we don't know I just assume they're still alive all right hello <laughs> who are you okay goodbye <laughs> that was weird all right let's look around a bit lock picking no let's not I'm their guest here. I'm not just gonna pick everything I see. Oh god. I'm not yet healed, it seems. Oh. What is it? Hello, sir. 
You're in a private area. People what don't do like it if you... Go and play your oh, game sorry. Tomorrow. People don't like it if you go where you're not supposed to. If you enter their houses, they'll just warn you at first, but if you're caught in the castle's guardhouse, for example, you risk immediate arrest. Okay. I think I should go outside then. Hello. <laughs> Hello, sir. Sir Robert. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Yeah, you could say that. Have a good meal. Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Look, all right. I heard about your father. You star. They say he was a swordsman. Oh well. The country. Mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. me, actually. What? <laughs> I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had mm -hmm. a fine reputation. It's a great loss. For sure. Do I just sit here? Or what? Ah. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> I just needed to wait, I guess. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. <laughs> so this is our brave young man. Yes, it's Welcome, me. Welcome, lad. <laughs> Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything <laughs> he's been through. She didn't even say the last word. A bear, aren't you, young master? Sure. <laughs> Here you are then. Eat your fill. That's a and lot. A little wine to wash it down. Thank sure. you, sure, lady. <laughs> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. <laughs> After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly. All right. Thanks. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, <laughs> lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. <laughs> Thanks. Good night, man. <laughs> I don't really know all formalities and such yet. You can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. <laughs> don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. <laughs> Calm down, dude. I can show a little appreciation for what I've done. Don't have to be so mean. <laughs> Objective started. Eat. Oh, I'm not sure if I can do that one. That must be hard. <laughs> Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep there until morning. Yeah, I just can't believe they murdered my parents like that. It was just insane. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts long enough, he can even die. Okay, different foods have different purposes. An apple won't fill you like a roast duck. But it will stray fresh for longer, okay? Basically, I saw it. Uh... Let me eat this. Food. Can I just eat it? Alright, I'll just take it, I guess. <laughs> Apple, sure, why not? Some cheese. Uh, Alright. Should I be able to eat this? Wait, did I actually pick up the arrow that was shot in my leg? <laughs> That's insane. Uh, other? Where's my food? Oh, there it is. Um, apple, sure. Um, eat. And how much do I need to eat? Can I see that anywhere? I have no clue. I'll just eat some more. Uh, a roast duck, sure. And a bread roll and some cheese. Sure. Is that enough? Oh. It says it on the right. Okay, this is almost uh, full. That's good enough. <laughs> Just eat from the pot. <laughs> Where is he still cooking in? Will be mean. Alright, time to go. Where is this lodge? Uh, what's happening? <laughs> Am I drunk or something? Oh god, 
I'm falling asleep, that's it. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should eat some more then, if you say so. Well, this should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now just sleep. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know where to go. Can't be that far. Oh, I can't be here. Come on. I think I just missed it. Let me see on the map here. I can't even see. It's so close. Now I have no clue. Courtyard lots. Yeah, it must be that little house uh, in the courtyard. Of course, that's why it's called. That's why it's called courtyard lodge. <laughs> Just walked the wrong way, I guess. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Walking all the way back. Stop, dude. Calm down. Alrighty then. So it must be this one. How do I get in? <laughs> Lady, you were missing your face there for a second. Huh? Do I get in here? Yeah, here we go. If you're tired, your stamina and eloquence, eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Sit on it, uh, launch sleep and... S oh, whatever. Just sleep, basically. <laughs> Alright, sleep. I think sleeping also saves for me. How long do you want to sleep? Uh, ooh, interesting. I can sleep for a long time. <laughs> Let's just sleep uh, eight hours. That seems like a reasonable amount, I think. Nourishment, I don't even know what that is. All right, just do eight hours. <laughs> Why not? Will it be night time then? Or morning time? Not sure. Because there's actually time and day in this game. So, that's fun. And I think it even uh, cycles through it eventually. If you stay awake for long enough. <laughs> but I'm not sure if you can stay awake for like 24 hours or something. No clue. Yes. <laughs> That's good at least, that they're preparing. Yes, yeah. come in. It is oh. I, Henry. <laughs> Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. No. I? I was awake already. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? Good question. I thought you could do with a little wine. <laughs> How kind. It's just what you need to help you sleep. <laughs> My lady. Basically, in those, those days, everyone just got drunk to do anything. Being drunk was just the solution to everything. To. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. Oh, okay. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. Thanks. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank that you. means a lot. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange this for you. This is very strange indeed. <laughs> But I want you to okay. feel at home here. <laughs> You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God sure. Knows I've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. <laughs> and it can. 
can help to talk about it. All right. If you feel like it. Thanks. This is weird, you know. This is a weird conversation. Really, really weird. <laughs> Don't know what to think of it, to be honest. Oh. Uh. Sure, just tell it. Why not? I mean. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started yeah. just like any other. Father That's for sent sure. me into town on some errands. Uh, I went to tavern for ale and met my sweetheart Bianca there. I went to collect a debt. Uh, shared above the, the most above. To buy ale for father. <laughs> I know it's a job for a groom, but I the time was short for that Bianca one. Work, I can barely read it. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Yeah. Oh dear boy. When I done That's all the errands, sure. I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. I'm not looking to impress her anyway by saying I was collecting debt or anything. Uh, uh, Sir Redstack came to look at the sword. Yeah, that's the, the truth. Shape Let's just go with that. Himself came to have a look at it. <laughs> he praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. <laughs> yeah. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the rise and there was a huge horde of attackers. Uh, sure. A horde of soldiers was amassed. <laughs> Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. Yeah. Awful. And then death. Oh, so was that him himself? Uh, the Skelet's folk fled to the castle for cover. I saw them kill my girl. No, that's not true. They killed my mo mo father and mother. Yeah, that's for father sure. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw yeah. him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw oh. father and charged at So him. no, it wasn't him personally. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him cut down my father without a thought and then he turned on my yep. mother and he murdered her in cold blood you poor boy may the lord have mercy on their souls i ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover but i didn't make it i had to find another way to save myself the men on the battlements called down to me to flee to talmberg and warn you i was lucky i knew a concealed path around the castle Yep. The humans were plundering the village. The siege of skeletons began. I needed a horse. I ran for my life. Uh, they were plundering the village? I wasn't safe yet. Sure. The humans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. They should really give me a little more time to choose this stuff. <laughs> I can barely read it. Yeah. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. I tried at least. And I succeeded, even though it oh, I did. in my life. After that, I stole a I did. Oh, so off. she's safe. Like a I think. <laughs> I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh, good. I'm happy at least I saved Hello. her. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he let such things happen. Yeah. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, mm -hmm. and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Sure. Fate. It's always good to keep faith. Not been merciful to me and my husband. Even if it's either. just in yourself. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot mm -hmm. older than I, but a woman must bear Divish. her lot. 
Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Oh, really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. Oh. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. Jeez, that's awful. Is it still like that today? I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot oh, in jail geez. in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the Jeez. end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. Jeez. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. Yeah, and an army's at your doorstep again. Beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. <laughs> Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles <laughs> enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Thanks. <laughs> For the Thank wine also. <laughs> talk, Henry. Good night and God bless. Good night, my lady. Sorry I'm not talking too much, but I don't want to interrupt them when they're talking, you know? I want to follow what they say as well. <laughs> and you guys as well, I figure, so... That's the reason. Alright, so what's gonna happen now? You learned woman in the Middle Ages. What do you mean you learned? <laughs> Learned about her past. Nightmares, huh? Yeah, you can expect to, to have those for a while. If you've been through something like that. Well, hey, at least you saved one person. There's nothing you could do, dude. Don't blame yourself for it. You even came back when your man, old man, told Wake you up. to go. You don't want to miss this. Ooh, what is oh, okay. What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder who they are. If I had a gateway stairs, okay. Take the torch from the table. Oh, sure, why not? Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, if you need a light at night, use your torch by holding I. But if you want to keep your left hand free, for example, to use a shield, it's better to drink Nighthawk potion for better night vision. Okay, good to know. Uh, what? 
Just what? How do I use it? Um, torch. There it is. Equip. Here we go. How do I? <laughs> All right. How do I turn it on? Oh, I have turned it on. Oh, okay. Where do I go? Um, okay. Unsure where to go now. It's raining though. It's not uh, good. I hope my torch will last. Oh. Go to the battlements and talk to Captain Robert. That's not in here, is it? Is that downstairs? Or is that all the way around? I think it's just over this way. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Uh huh. Hello, I'm here. I'll eat something later. It's fine. Don't need to eat every hour. What's going, What's going on? on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid mm -hmm. on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Oh. Then yeah. who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. Mm -hmm. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Hmm. Not right. much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you're see. right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers. <laughs> That's including for sure. all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. <laughs> okay. So, something's gonna happen again. There's a few people. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Rubber? Sir Antic. Oh. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. How did they get here? What are you doing up so late, Divish? <laughs> At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? Mm -hmm. The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? <laughs> He's here with me. Yeah. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. <laughs> A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage That's a good to question. Away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to <laughs> All right. right under their noses. The Lord be praised. And did everyone make it? We would have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. Oh. He'll only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund okay. should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? So he's saying to surrender if they come. I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. <laughs> I am sorry about Thanks. what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? <laughs> sir! Quiet! 
I'm sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. Divish. Yeah. Just Make listen sure to the man, man. Doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. <laughs> anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. <laughs> we'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Sure. So I'm staying here for now? And good fortune. All right. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. All right. How do these flames stay on, though? It's raining. <laughs> Shouldn't they go out? I don't know. So what now? Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. So yeah, we'll have the sure. Between you as always. And if I... Let's, uh, oh, so I hit my mic, sorry. <laughs> Can I be of help? What sure. I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or a Sure. Order? <laughs> I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. <laughs> I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Okay. What's the least I could do, to be honest? So... Where are we going? Keep watch on the battlements. Just here? Okay. I can't even see anywhere. <laughs> can only see on this. But nowhere else. Oh, there's a few people. <laughs> can barely even see them there. Do I just need to walk in circles here? It, calm down, you're not even that hungry yet. Should I go up here? Um, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> Should I talk to this guy? Hello, guard. Do you have anything interesting to say for me? Or to me. <laughs> or not. And I'm just waiting here for nothing. <laughs> what do you think about the Skelet's folk fleeing? What do you Let's think ask him. What? Oh. Huh? I got interrupted. That's weird. Sorry? He's not even talking to me. Wandering around like oh. a stray sheep. <laughs> Must be your first watch, eh? <laughs> I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. What is it? If you have to wait for something, you can skip time. Press T and set how long you can you want to wait. Watch hey. out though, tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. Okay. All right, then I'll guess I'll not talk to that guard, huh? So skip time. Uh, how much time? Let's see, till morning, huh? Yeah. What do you consider morning, though? Uh, let's just uh, do uh, six a.m. That sounds good. <laughs> sure, that's what we want. If that's what we want. Oh, I see now that there's a circle around the five, so I think they'll probably consider that as morning. Was that enough? Can I go now? Jesus! Huh? Look where you're going! Sorry. What? I hear a horn or something. Are they here? Go to the battlements of the outer bailey. What? Huh? Do I need to go here? 
No, I can't even go here. I'm not allowed to go here. Am I? <laughs> Just jump down. Maybe I am. Oh. Well, close the door on me like that, huh? I'll just follow you, I guess. Where do I go? Let's go, let's go! Move it! Quick! Go, go! Oh, I need to go this way. Huh? Do I go down? Oh, yes. Here we go. What's happening? Are they attacking already? Seems that way. Yep, there they are. See how the self appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. Yeah, I wonder how he does that. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, we'll see. Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill my parents. Yeah. Calm idiot. down. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia. Yeah. Who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. He has an interesting accent, restore to say the least. By burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Vart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. <laughs> to what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yeah, what are you doing here? Yesterday, in other words. His Majesty took <laughs> action against the enemy of the kingdom. Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Is that so? Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, there's no clue. The Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. <laughs> Yeah. Nevertheless, <laughs> I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. <laughs> or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your honor? <laughs> Am I to inform so you nice to him. that Sir Radzik Kobila is not a Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzik Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. Yeah. <laughs> As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this <laughs> when there's little cause for joy farewell nice words very nice words alrighty then so they're gonna leave for now at least or are they Yep. For now at least, this battle is over. Diplomacy wins I once more. <laughs> Get on with you, robot. <laughs> oh.
Alright, that's good at least. Don't do anything stupid now, Henry, though. Just let them be for now. You learned Sir Markford von Aulitz. Okay, so I guess I have some info on him now. Bury your loved ones in Skelets. Talk to Sir Robert. Well, I think that's time for the next episode. Why do I even have this torch still on? It's daylight. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Let me use some uh, savior stuff here. If I can find it. Uh, savior schnapps. Uh, eat. Right? Yeah, game saved. Alright. Well then, I'm going to leave this episode here for today. It was an interesting episode and I definitely didn't expect that plus plot twist that soon. But I guess it happened, so we can't do anything about it now. So we'll just have to learn to live with it. So I'm curious to see how this is going to play out later though. But we'll find out. Anyway, this is you, Phoenix. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe now for more to come. Until then, be brave, be kind, and stay awesome.